Hey guys, it's Adelphinator here, and this is the Ajoche Recap Series Week 16. Hmm, so I'm not very happy with the huh, with the events lately, man. So much is going on, like Ella Keche being raped. I did not see that coming at all. But we all know that General Ape is a madman and he would do anything to see. Ali Chenu's downfall, basically. So, sequel to the previous week's event, um, Ali Chenu and Elakeche go into the bushes to spend the night together, and there um, they eat the garden eggs that put them to sleep, basically, they're unconscious, and then General Peck comes and rapes her. And then the next day, everybody's looking for them, and then General Ape just mentions something in passing about how he saw them going into the bushes or something funny. They go to look for them. They find them lying unconscious and a guard dead by their side. So um, they take them back to the palace. Elakeche is still out cold. Ali Chinu has been put in prison because he's being accused as a rapist. King Godaleko is really distraught. He doesn't know what to do. He visits um, Ali Chinu at, at the prison and gives him water to drink and tries to get him to speak and Ali Chun is like, I don't even know what happened. Like the boy does not remember what happened. So how can he defend himself? If he doesn't know what happened, you know. Father having dreams and in his dream, he's chanting Elakeche's name and he just wondered like, what does, what's this man's own with Elakeche? Then on another day, he hears Bolum and his father talking about what happened. And then he puts two and two together and realizes that it's his father, the general who actually raped Elakeche. So we see the bit where um, Ali Chenu is being brought to the council and he's being judged. And um, Epe is just there looking and he doesn't see anything, even though he knows that it's his father who raped Elakeche. Also, um, Orfun's bit, her story. So Orfun is this close to being found out. Um, remember from the previous week, we talked about how she... Um, she has entered one chance basically. She, she, you know, she's been lying that she's from Ufam, and then these delegates from Ufam come to visit because they were there to witness their prince's marriage to Princess Ene. And um, she lies that she, her father's name is blah blah, so so and so. And they find out that the father that she's talking about is also the father of one of the delegates who came. And he's like, It's not possible because that's my father's name, and that's the only person that bears that name in the entire village so if you're my father's daughter how come i don't know you anyway she's almost being found out um but because of the whole um ali chenu rapist drama thing going on um there's some sort of distraction so she's sent out of the palace um she goes to akajo for help akajo is like i'm not your i'm not your servant um sort out yourself by yourself you're the one that put yourself in this problem so sort it out yourself um, also, we see where the general and Bolum confront her and um, basically they're trying to tell her that they will out her and whatnot, but she claims that she's innocent. Um, she sends her maid to go to her hut and um, basically clear out evidence of all her ritualistic paraphernalia, basically. So before the general and his guys get there, she had already cleared the entire hut of all the things that she uses to do her jazz. But there was one thing left. The bracelet that she had from her parents, from Abo, was still with her. Um, Obe found the bracelet and didn't say anything about it because he was the one who, um, because he knows her story basically and he didn't want to cast himself because if he knows and he didn't say anything, he could also be put to death. 